Hi, my name is Darby Connors. I am a senior at Hilliard Riley High School, and for my capstone project, I'm going to be telling you about my experience in choosing which college I wanted to go to. I will to. be attending Kent State University on a full ride scholarship to play volleyball at the D1 level. To play college volleyball is a dream. Um, I would made the decision that I wanted to play college ball when I was a freshman. When I was a sixth grader, I had this dream that I wanted to play a sport, like any sport. I wasn't really, I didn't really care. But when I was younger, I remember that I would always watch the Olympics with my family, and I'd always tell my parents that I wanted to be just like those girls playing sand volleyball and indoor. So when I was in sixth grade, the opportunity arose that um, I could join this volleyball club for beginners, for whoever, and I did it. And it was so much fun. So when I was in seventh grade, I decided to try out for the team. Well, when I was that age, I was very awkward, tall, clumsy, gangly looking, not really the athletic type. So I made it to tryouts, I made it through, and, and it got down good. to decision making, and I made the team, but barely. It's just because I was a little bit taller than the other girl. So, um, my family was told that there's this thing called club volleyball. And we looked into it, and we found this club called Elite Volleyball Training Center, and this thing called in-house league was for players who wanted to develop their skills and become better athletes. So I did it and I came back in 8th grade and I made the team and my love for the sport just grew. It just flourished. So when I was an 8th grader I decided I wanted to take it up a step. I tried out for three teams, Mintonet Volleyball Club, CBA, and Elite Volleyball Training Center and I made the top teams. The top teams are called Open, which is better than National, and I made those teams. I was so surprised and so proud of myself for the accomplishments I got, and I decided to play at CVA for that so year. My skills got even better. I was so much better than I was in middle school. So when I got into high school, I made the JV team, and I started, and I dressed varsity as a freshman, and that's all I could have asked for. Like. I was this very, very bad, underdeveloped player as a 7th and 8th grader, and I come in and I start JV as a freshman, dressing varsity. That was a big deal. So when it came back to club time, I decided that I wanted to play at Elite Volleyball Training Center again like I did for my very first year of club, and I'm so happy I did. The people that I play with, the coaches that I've had, are all like family to me. My club is my second family, and I have been there since I was 15 years old. So, between freshman and sophomore year, I improved tremendously again. I couldn't even explain how much I improved. I went from starting JV dressing varsity to being a full-time varsity starter and breaking school records and making offensive player of the year that year. But, a damper in my career what happened my sophomore year when I broke my back. I was diagnosed with bilateral spondylosis, which I have two fractures on both sides of my L5. I thought my career was over. Coming back from a broken back is really, really hard to do, but I took every step as I, that I could when I could and just worked my way back to where I was. And when high school volleyball came around my junior year, I would play. And I may not have had the best year that year, but I was still, I was still a very good player and I developed my skills. My freshman year, I started being linked up by schools, but then when I got injured, some of those schools backed off, except for one, Kent State University. They talked to me throughout my whole injury, but once I was back my junior year, a whole bunch of other schools started contacting me. So I went on visits to OU, Kent State, Toledo, um, but the one thing I really looked for when I was going to schools was like feeling like I fit in and feeling like it was home. And when I went to Kent State my freshman year, I told myself and I told my parents that this is my school, this is where I want to go to. But they warned me not to just pick the first school that I went to as the one I wanted to commit so to. So I was like, okay, whatever. And I went on other visits and every single time I said, this is the school I want. So when I was a junior, I was offered a five-year full-ride scholarship to Kent State University. I was so ecstatic. I was so happy to be wanted by that school. But another school that I really wanted to go to was Toledo University. They had this very great biomedical engineering program, and at the time, that is what I wanted to study. So they offered me a four-year scholarship, but I'd have to be a walk-on my freshman year. So my choices were five-year full-ride scholarship, 
but a school that doesn't have the exact major I want but was willing to make a program just for me or a school that had the exact major I wanted at the time and I'd have to be a walk on my freshman year and have to pay for that year. So my decision was very clear. I decided that so I wanted to go to last February of my junior year, I committed to play volleyball at Kent State University. It was the best day of my life. I couldn't be any happier. To reach my goals of being a D1 athlete was all I could have asked for. It was the best feeling knowing that I was going to be a college athlete. Not many people get that opportunity. Number 12 of my senior year, I signed. So I am officially going to be a Golden Flash at Kent State. And it hurt my heart a little bit to have to decline other schools, but Kent State was home. It felt like home. The people there are such great people. They are nice and caring and wanted to know who I was, including the coaches. The coaches were amazing. I could not be happier that I had the best three coaches that I'm going to have for the next four years. So when I was going to school, some things I looked for was a great place to get an education, a nice campus, nice people, and of course volleyball. So with my education, I will be studying pre-med chemistry at Kent State as my major, and they are making a program specifically for me in exercise sciences and pre-med. And that's exactly what I want to do. I want to go into the medical field, whether it be biomedical engineering or some kind of physician. And Kent State made that program for me, and that was a big part in why I decided to go to Kent State. Another thing is a very nice campus and a college town feel. That's exactly what I wanted. It may not be the biggest school, it may not be Ohio State University, but it is Kent State University. It is a college town, so many people are involved with everything, everyone knows everyone pretty much. I mean, it's still a big school, but people know who people are, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to feel important, but not so inferior that I didn't know who I was in a big place like that. Kent State was perfect. It's the perfect size for me. It's a college town, and it's just... It's just amazing. I'm so excited. Also, I look for great people. So, of course, I looked at my coaches and my future teammates. And they are all so friendly and nice. And I felt like I fit in with them. They are strange and funny, but it's what I like. Like, I don't want to go into a place where I feel like I'm going to be bullied or someplace where I'm going to be better than everybody. I want to fit in. And that's how I felt at Kent State and University. And I am so happy that I get to spend the next four years at Kent State University with people who I know I'm going to love and have friendships with for the rest of my life.